Okay. I want to talk about Thief. Actually, that's a lie. I want to rant about Thief. I have just played a little further in my playthrough for about, I don't know, an hour and a half or something. And I'm ready to explode. I am so angry with that game. I am so disappointed. I am just, I'm literally fuming that, that, that they did this. That they released this game in this way. And no, I'm not talking about the, the bad audio problems or the fact that you can get stuck on a paving stone. Yes, I got stuck on a paving stone and had to swoop, I think, about 20 times to be able to get away from the paving stone. I, I believe the paving stone was, I don't know, three millimeters lower than the next one. And apparently, that was a little difficult for me to traverse, because you know I'm a master thief and small steps are a real problem. You know why? Because I don't have a jump key. But that, that, that's not what got me. I, I'm, glitches like that I can get through. I can, I can sort of ride them out. I can, you know, I can pass it off. It's, 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 the, for me, all, all that's important is the stealth experience. It's a stealth game. And so it should be stealthy. That's, that's all they had to do to win me over. That's all. Just, just make it a stealth game. And they failed. They failed to make this an interesting stealth game. And no, I'm not jumping on the bandwagon of people who said, like, oh, the AI is terrible, because I've been defending it. People say, oh, you're playing too carefully. You're playing too carefully. Not playing too carefully. It's a stealth game. I, you know when people say that to me? You're playing too carefully. I, I want to get a t-shirt that says, do you even stealth game? Because there's no such thing as too careful in a stealth game. No, there isn't. Stop typing. There's not. Unless you played all the way through from beginning to end without getting caught. One time, one single time, you are not careful enough. If you got caught, that was it. You failed. The more times you got caught, the bigger you failed. It's a stealth game. Being caught is worse than dying. Maybe a little less worse. I don't know. It depends. It depends. If you died because you got caught, obviously that's slightly worse. But it's bad. It's terrible. And no, it does not count if you didn't get caught, but you reloaded 5,000 times. If you're doing the mission and every time you get caught, you reload to the last checkpoint and carry on, that's not a successful stealth mission. That's successfully reloading. <sighs> so, what happened? What, what's got me in this state? Well, I'm playing along and I'm, 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 I'm getting into the foundry. I'm doing pretty well, actually. I've, I've got... In, I've not been caught. I'm ninja silent. Absolutely. I am the ghost. Doing really well. And I think I'm picking up every item as I go along. And then there's this point where you have to hang on a hook and and go down a conveyor belt. And that in itself annoyed me a little bit because because I mean it's probably my own fault for turning off some of the UI hints type thing. But it's like grabbing the hook, you have to Press activate and hold it. You know, when you want to jump onto a rope, you you press jump key, right? Uh, when you want to grab onto the hook, you have to press and hold the activate key, not not the jump key. So it's, it's not the same. And I'd already had little irritations because of this earlier. There was there was a vent. I was trying to drop off the vent, and every other time I had a ledge, I got to the edge of the ledge, and I, and I pressed the swoop key, or the jump key, or the drop key, or whatever, it, it, the multifunction key, and that would drop me off, right? But it didn't, and I had to use the same key that drops you when you're on a ladder. So if you're on a ladder, you want to slide down. I had to press that one to get down. That that irritated me and confused me for a second or so, right? And so I'm on, I'm on this hook. I'm, I'm flying along on this hook. Finally, um, I have to figure out how to do it. And you, you come out of this area and you're hanging from the hook and there's a guard there. Now, you, I think you're supposed to drop and I'm pressing space and I'm pressing activate the, the key that got me on the hook, pressing it, holding it, space, same with the... It, it turns out it's the drop key 
from from the same as if you're on a ladder, you want to slide down the ramp. Yeah. All right, fine. So I didn't drop off in time, and I got discovered. Oh, no, catastrophe, right? I mean, this is it. Oh, my God, I've been seen. I've failed. Oh, no. Guy takes out a, sh a crossbow and shoots me. Oh, the excitement. Heart's pumping. Slightly irritated because of the key thing, but mm, yes. Oh, no. Well, I've got to get away. Got to get away. Major excitement, right? You know? Oh, my God, how am I going to do this? I'm going to duck and swoop. That's what I'm going to do. And he's going to run right past me, even though it's not that dark in there. And I'm just going to stand there. And and he's going to he's gonna stay in the area I dropped and not move much, right? And that's going to give me time to to get into the hidey cupboard, right? There's a hidey. I don't realize it at, at first, but after looking around, a bit of a panic, you know, trying to settle my nerves, I see the hidey cupboard and I climb in. And then I watch the guard wander around for ooh, several seconds before he gives up looking for me. I mean, you know, I mean, he, he really went out of his way. I, I mean, it had to have been, oh, I don't know, 10 seconds or something before he went, oh, well, he's gone then, I guess. Um, which is pretty incredible, really, considering actually when you look around the room, there's only one place in the game that I could possibly be hidden. And there's only one way out of the room. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but uh, it's locked. And um, and it's still locked, I guess, because I haven't unpicked it. So unless I got there, picked the lock, went out, and then locked it behind me, it's a fair bet that I'm still in the room. But, you know, I thank my lucky stars and I exit the cupboard and start, you know, nicking things and thinking to myself, you know what, maybe I'll try and find a way to knock this guy out. And I'm sneaking around a bit and I'm not really being careful anymore. It's just not noticing this. I'm not really being that careful because, you know, Mr. Mr. Full Frontal, the bottomy here, doesn't exactly fill me with dread. Um, and, and, and maybe the stupidity was catching because I pretty much walked straight into him. And he sees me. Oh, oh, that's it. That, this time it's over, right? I mean, he's seen me again. He, he's seen me twice. He's now hot on my... How will I get away this time? I'll just swoop into the darkness. Yes, I swoop behind a bench twice. And he loses me. And then I make my way back to the only hiding place in the room again. Where I wait. Thinking, oh, well, this time he's going to raise the alarm, isn't he? I mean, he's seen me twice. No, he's going to raise the alarm. No, 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 no. Of course not. So, obviously, I make my way out and go to the next area. And I'm getting a little less cautious now. I mean, I'm beginning to do semi-daft things. Like, uh, you know, I found a blunt arrow and decided to test it on a light switch when there were two guards there. Um, and kind of almost knew it was going to alert them, and it did, and I just ducked away and went on my merry way, just not really caring anymore. Um, and of course, you know, ten seconds after I'd done this, these two guards who had discovered a shattered arrow that had been shot at a light switch thought, well, you know what, everything's fine, I guess, and had wandered off, uh, apparently to go and look through a little peepee hole, a little peepee hole, not sure what they were looking at, but I guess I can probably imagine. Well, we'll come back to those two fine gentlemen later on, you see, because I carry on a bit and I'm and I'm I'm getting, you know, more and more confident and I decide, you know what? There's a, there's something over there I want to check and there's a load of guards all over the place. So, you know what? I will see if it's possible to knock that guy out. The guy with a crossbow. I'm going to knock him out. And it's just there's lights everywhere. I mean, this is idiotic. I know it's idiotic, but I'm doing it anyway. So I do it. And of course I get seen. And now the chase is on. Um, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm really terrified this time. So I'm running round. And all you can hear is these guards going, I'll get you! And the main guy who's not a guard is, is going, Oh no, there's someone around. And he's shouting and he's screaming. And you can hear him clearly. But you remember the two guards? peering through the little hole. Well, they're about 
10 meters from this, and it's not like there's a huge amount of uh, wall between them, because there's a great big broken open window. I can still hear the guards shouting, I can still hear them clearly, and I'm looking through a window and there's two guards, three meters from me, apparently not paying any attention to the commotion going on behind me. Oh, <laughs> that's not, not the best part. There's a guy in the next room to where the man, the main man is screaming, and he's asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's asleep. Only he doesn't wake up when all these people are running round. People are running round screaming and shouting, and he's fast asleep, doesn't wake up. But I'll tell you what, if you're picking the chest that's somewhere near him and you break one pick, oh, oh no, then he wakes up. But don't worry about it because you just run off, swoop into a cupboard somewhere. You'll get away from it. It's not really a big problem. I mean, why would you care about that? So, of course, now I'm starting to get a bit silly. Now I'm getting a bit irritated. I'm thinking, hey, let's have some fun. You know, like... Here we go. From a second floor window, I, would guess. I just shot a light switch next to you. Now, now I'm not going to blame you for, for, you know, not necessarily noticing that the light just went out. Or even the loud thump that occurred about half a meter to your left. But the simple fact of the matter is, there's now a broken arrow probably at your feet. In fact, you may well have splinters in your bum. And apparently, you don't care. And the, 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 this entire game is like that. It really is. Doesn't seem to matter what you do. They can swoop around here. Just, oh, you saw something. Oh, terror, terror, terror. Oh, no, what am I going to do? He spotted me. Why am I even crouching? There's just... Hello, I'm on broken glass. Woo. There's a light. I'm going to flick the light switch whilst I run around on broken glass. Yes? No? Hello? <sighs> let's have a look. Ooh, Mr. Sleepy. There's Mr. Sleepy. So let's cause a bit of chaos, shall we? Hello? Oh, no. Stand still. Show himself at any moment. I could. I could show myself at any moment. It would be terrible. Not that you'd see me. Excuse me. me. I need okay. I'm stuck. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I have to drop. That's right. Somebody's attacked me. I need backup. I know you're there. They're all panicking. Everyone's running around screaming. They're all screaming. Look, see? They're chasing me. Hello? They're chasing me. Broken glass! Yes! Broken glass! Well done! But no, don't worry! I'm gone. Are you kidding me? Oi! Got that! <laughs> Hello? I'm not trying to escape, I'm stood at the door shouting at you! Hello? Really? Here's an arrow! Have an arrow! Whee! Yes! I'm over here! Hello! Come and get me! Come and get me! Whee! Hello! You'll find me! There we go! Really? Oh! Seriously? Yes! I better hide! Oh! I'll open this door! Shall I open this door? No! Come on. Follow me! I'm on broken glass! See? Hello, God, nice one. Chase me, chase me. You know where I am. Chase me, chase me. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna die now. Oh no, I've got to dodge. I'm gonna die. He's actually gonna kill me. No. Oh, well, it was vaguely exciting for a second, wasn't it? Really, you'll look everywhere. Okay, well, that's that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Are you two still? Yes, yeah, someone's here. Guards, come and get him. Come and get him, guards. Get him! Okay! Raise the alarm, boys! Raise the alarm! There's a thief running around throwing bottles at you! 38 seconds! 
38 seconds and they're all back to normal. There's no alarm, it's off. Everyone's going back to their everyday activities. A loony just ran around throwing stuff at them. Are you awake now? Are you at least awake? God, I hope you're awake. Really? You can't say I did not give this game a fair chance. Oh, wrong. You can't say I didn't give this game can't let my guard down. a fair shot, right? You can't. I took it seriously. I tried my best. As your friend. I tried my best to take it seriously. I tried my best to get immersed. But this is ridiculous. They're not even going to wake him up. I knocked him out. They're not going to wake him up. They're going to leave him there. And in about 40 seconds, they're going to go on as if nothing had happened. There's going to be one of their friends sleeping on the floor in front of them. And it's going to be like nothing ever happened. Nobody in any adjoining areas is now active. Everyone who wasn't in that room... They're fine. They're just, they're not having any problems whatsoever. In fact, in fact, you know what? I wonder. Seriously! I mean, seriously! And just... Oh, God. I don't have time to wait forever. You don't have to... Oh, what are they... Oh, God, my... Just... Oh, well, well done. Well done, that man. Someone's here. Good. No, if you find me, I'll not care in the slightest. <sighs> the only thing they could not get wrong, the, the one thing that they had to get right in this game was to make it a stealth game. That's the only thing they had to do, was to make it a stealth game. All the fancy parkour stuff, all the cool um, what's it focus abilities. Yeah, 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 very cool, very nice, yada, yada, yada. All you had to do was make it a stealth game. Everything else was just a little bit of extra. Have you heard me yet? No, what? Oh, hello. Yeah, you did, you did, I'm very impressed. All you had to do was make it a stealth game. Nothing else. Nothing else mattered. Right? Nothing compared to that. And you failed. How? 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 The stealth in this system is an absolute failure. Stealth relies on the NPCs having realistic detection. And then more importantly, realistic reactions to what happens when you fail. Dishonored. Dishonored was 50 times better than this. If I act of, if I got caught in Dishonored, the guards would run around for ages. They'd set alarms off. People in like on the other side of the map got alerted. They'd hunt me down. It, it took so much longer before they went around their own business again. They've come back to their own business already. It's just, it's just, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's terrible. Hello? Hello? Eh? What do you mean, eh, eh? I think. What do you mean, you think, hello? I mean, this is master difficulty. This is master difficulty. Are you going to check here? I'm going to go in right in front of your face. Well done. Well done. Oh, finally. You're at least brilliant. You, are, you have now managed to get almost as good... As the lunatic inmates in Outlast. Because they figured that one out. They would randomly check under beds and randomly check in cupboards. And they wouldn't have waited ten minutes to do it. I mean, it's, this, is, this is really, this is bad. This has got a worse stealth system than, than Outlast. I mean, Outlast has a pretty good stealth system. 
You know, you you would hide and you just it was terrifying. You hid under a bed and you thought, oh my god, they're gonna find me. Let's get it. You, and I. you thought, oh my god, I'm going to die. In this, you think, oh no, I might have to parkour a little bit more. I mean, what the hell? Someone may still be here. Do you think? So this is it. This is this is this is master difficulty. Master difficulty on thief. I mean, it's the the stealth experience in this game now is completely ruined for me because I know there are no consequences. I know there are no consequences. Um, I don't need to be as careful. People are right. I don't need to be as careful. I just don't need to be as careful because I can run rings around the guards. The guards are monumentally stupid. Um, they sometimes they see you when you don't think they should. Sometimes they see you. They don't see you when they really should see you. But it all doesn't matter because honestly, they they don't really put up much of a resistance anyway. I mean, I've not even tried fighting any of them. I'm wondering how easy it would be to kill them. Maybe just run around and stab them all in the face. I mean, that's it now, isn't it? I mean, perhaps that's the way to play thief. Just parkour around the entire place, constantly making mistakes. And when you do, you just park all the way or you stab him in the face I, I don't know and it's not even as if I particularly you know it's not like well I'm going to keep playing because I want to know what happens um honestly maybe it's because I'm not far enough along but the story hasn't grabbed me enough yet not like say Dishonored did with Dishonored from the moment go I was I was really into the story and and then of course the, the, you know with Dishonored the the stealth worked. The enemy, they seem to react in a, in a sensible way. I mean, maybe it wasn't the greatest stealth game ever, and there are probably ways it could have been a billion times better, but it was still better than this. It was way tougher than this, way tougher. And they had magic. You could blink everywhere, and it was still tougher than this, I think. I mean, when you make a stealth game and the stealth mechanic is worse than the stealth mechanic in in Outlast, you failed. I mean, I know Outlast stealth was a reasonably important aspect of it as well, but it, that's a horror game. Horror game. Same with Metro, I suppose. The, the stealth mechanic was important, but, you know, I mean, you... you Metro it was, it was an FPS, a story-driven FPS, when stealth came into it, but even Metro beat this a thousand times over for the stealth for the for the for the ai um, and, and there were flaws there as well this is just this is i i just i don't just everything about it just strikes me as wrong um that the way they've used certain keys for multiple things i mean people are going to say well it's because of consoles I, I, fine but you've ported it to pc add a few new keys how hard is that I, I'd like a separate key for dropping off things than, than swooping. I can't believe how many times I tried to swoop past something and then climbed up on the ledge. I mean, I will, like I said, I'll forgive things like that, but... I can't forgive this. I can't, I can't get past the guards being absolute brainless vegetables. And they are. They're just... They're background noise now, and they shouldn't be. The, the guards should be the real challenge. Evading them, because if you don't evade them, you are in trouble. And, and if you get caught and you evade them, you should feel like... Your heart should be beaten, you should be excited, you should be... There should be a thrill, and there is none. Evading the guards is so easy, there's no thrill, there's no challenge. And... You know, there's only so much role-playing I can do. I can't pretend there's a challenge when there really isn't. And I can't pretend being caught matters when it really doesn't. 
So, yeah, I'm, I'm, for those of you who were enjoying the Thief Let's Play and wanted it to continue, I, I'm sorry, but I, I can't do it. I can't do it if I'm not enjoying it. And after that, I just... I don't enjoy it. And, and this isn't a spur-of-the-moment thing either. I, I played this several days ago, and, you know, I, I ranted a little at the time, and, but then I settled, and, and the, the, what you're listening to now, this was recorded... Um, a few days later, actually, because I thought, you know what, calm down, maybe it's just one bad experience, one bad, you know, hour or so, and, and, and on reflection you'll think, you know, no, no, I'll go back. But I'm not. Like, the problem is, is the longer I've spent away from it, the more I've just been thinking, oh, God, yeah, that was annoying as well, and well, that was annoying. And all of the little flaws that you forgave, you stop forgiving. But more, more importantly... I've just got absolutely no interest in actually continuing. And, uh, you know, there's no point. I'm, I'm not going to play just for a let's play. I'm not going to play just because you guys want to see it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't take that the wrong way. Like, I don't care what you want. But you're not going to want to see me play this from now on because I can't take it seriously. And if I can't take it seriously, why the hell watch? So I, I'm apologizing profusely, but... At the same time, blame the game. And please don't say I didn't. I was unfair to this game. Please don't say I didn't give it a chance. Please do not say, oh, you know, you 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 jumping on the bandwagon of hate thief because if you did, then you didn't see the first, well, the only eight episodes that I played because I didn't. I took it seriously and I tried my best to make it work and I tried my best to like it. Uh, partly for old time's sake as well, because I love the genre, uh, sorry, the, the franchise, and, and indeed I do love the genre, and, you know, I just, I just, I did try, so, there you go. Anyway, yeah, not really a lot else to say, I guess. I am, <clears throat> excuse me, I am extremely disappointed with uh, this game, so there you go. I guess that was my review of Thief. <laughs> All right. Good night.